Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. I've been posting a couple of videos over the last couple of months regarding the new desktop web widget that's been making an appearance in the Microsoft Edge Canary version of the Edge browser, which is a pre-release version used for testing and experimenting. Now, just a couple of days ago, I posted an update video where the web widget had been renamed and is now called the Edge Bar. And basically what the Edge Bar does is it lets you search and browse the web, see news headlines, check the weather and more without opening a full browser window. And it's very similar to the news and interests feed found in Windows 10 and widgets found in Windows 11. Now today I noticed that the feature had started rolling out to the stable version of Microsoft Edge and it looks like it's on a controlled server side update and rollout. So um, it doesn't mean that the moment that everybody is going to see it, depending on what region of the world you find yourself, but it looks like it's a server side controlled rollout at the moment. It also does look, after I've just been fiddling with the new Edge bar, um, that it has a couple of bugs. It's not very stable and there are one or two features that don't seem to be working. So just be aware of that if you have received the feature and want to try it out. Now to get to the edge bar, we just head up to the top right to the menu, settings. On the left, you'll see a new entry now in the settings menu called edge bar. We click on that and here we have the menu, get search and personalized news anytime, view a personalized news feed and search your favorite websites right from your PC desktop using edge bar. You can click on learn more about edge bar if you'd like to go find out some more information. Now I have noticed, as you can see, that the features, the options are grayed out and it says uh, installed extension extensions are controlling the edge bar page. So this is the first bug which doesn't seem to be working properly and the only way I could get this, can get this to work is to actually go over to my extensions page and disable all of my extensions in my edge browser. Not It's not just one of them that's preventing the feature from working. I have to uh, disable all of my ex uh, extensions, which is an optimum and obviously is a bug that will need to be addressed by Microsoft in the future. And now if I go back, you will see I can open Edge Bar and you have an option automatically open Edge Bar when the computer starts. You can toggle that on. And then let's open the Edge Bar. And as mentioned, it looks like a web widget, which is now called the Edge Bar. You can move it around your screen to whatever location you would prefer. And then just to start off, you can see it looks very similar to the news and interests feed and widgets found in um, Windows 10 and 11. And at the top, you have your profile. You have your settings where you can also enable a search only layout if that's something, um, an option you would like. Let's go back to vertical layout. You can, if we go back to the settings, you can refresh. You have enable the floating button, which we'll get to now. And you can go directly to more settings in the browser. You can also, if you move it to a certain side of your desktop, you can pin it to the nearest side of your desktop if that's something you would like. Now I have found that the enable auto hard does seem to have a bug and at this stage is not working properly as well. So I won't be able to demonstrate that. And then you can do a search directly th uh, through the edge bar with Bing you get the weather, you get your top stories and your feed. And if we go down to the bottom, you can customize your feed, which will take you to the browser itself. You have your region and you can actually refresh the news feed and your weather in the edge bar itself. And then you can also go straight into the browser as well. And then I have noticed um, one or two changes though that don't appear in the stable version um, of the edge bar in Edge. Um, compared to Edge Canary and in Edge Canary in the last video I did there are quick shortcuts you will find here on the left hand side where you can access Bing directly, your Outlook, LinkedIn and you can actually um, add customized uh, URLs and shortcuts and some other features but they haven't made it yet to the stable version so there looks like there's still a little bit of work that Microsoft has to do regarding the Edge bar. As mentioned there are one or two bugs that seem to have rolled out in this uh, version of the Edge Bar in the stable version of Microsoft Edge. And if we minimize it, you will see you get a floating button which you can move to any location on your desktop to whichever location you would prefer. And you also get now 
um, which wasn't there with Edge Canary. You get a little taskbar uh, system tray icon as well. And if you click on the floating button, that'll open the widget and you can actually close the edge bar from the um, floating button itself. So that's just a quick overview of the new edge bar that has started rolling out today, the 2nd of November 2021, to the stable version of the Microsoft Edge web browser. But as mentioned, it isn't that stable, it has a couple of features missing and also um, as looks like at this stage has a couple of bugs that Microsoft will have to work on. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.